So today what I thought we'd do would look at colour in a bit more detail. Um, so here we are in Illustrator and I've got two um, pieces of artwork here, both set up um, differently in different colours. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the two different colour spaces. And the two co different colour spaces we've got is CMYK and we've got RGB. Now CMYK is the printing process, so it's cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And the K does not stand for the K in black. Uh, a lot of people think that it stands for the K in black, but it doesn't. It stands for key. Um, so the CMYK, the K is key, which it's the key colour that goes onto the, onto the paper first. Um, and then you've got RGB, which is red, green, blue. So CMYK is designed for printing and RGB is designed for screen. And we can design in both. So in Illustrator, we can go up to File, we can go to Document Color Mode, and we can either choose between CMYK or RGB. And you'll find when you work in, RGB is a, a larger color palette. It's got a broader range of, of colors in the spectrum because it's based from light. Whereas CMYK is designed for printing on paper, and paper is not as bright as, as light. So that means that the colors aren't as um, lucid or as colorful sometimes. And what you can sometimes find is that if you're designing RGB, and this is where you've got to be careful, if you're designing RGB and then you send it to print, then your colors might not look the same and your client will be quite annoyed. Um, so just to show that, that in, in case here, so we've got two different pieces of artwork here. We've got one on the left, one on the right, both in similar color. One's a little bit brighter than the others, and you'll see how it changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors from the RGB mode that we're in the moment to CMYK and see what happens. So file, document, color mode, CMYK. And straight away you can see that the colors have changed and you've gone from really bright colors to more muted colors. And this is the computer's way of generating the end result that you would get if you use those colors in print. So that's what it would look like on your screen. But when you printed it, it would look like that. And it's really important to be wary of. It hasn't so much changed this one because these colors are a little bit closer to um, what you'd get anyway. So if we just revert that, so undo, you'll see that there's not a huge difference in change in these. So when we go and do it again, file, color mode, CMYK, you'll see you'd probably get away with that. Nobody would probably spot that, but they would certainly spot this. And that moves us on to the different types of colors within Illustrator. So we're still in the RGB view, and I tend to work in RGB um, a lot of the time because a lot of my work is for screen. Um, and then I consider the colors as I'm sending it for print. Um, so over in our color swatches, we'll see we've got um, the colors that we've used in our document. Um, these colors here are those. I don't think we've added these colors. And so what you can do is you can select your colors if you want to add them to your color swatches. And you can click on the new color swatch, give it a name, and then it'll add them here. So it's added those colors as swatches here. These ones are already added in here. Now what you'll see is you'll see that the majority of the colors are just solid colors. They are solid um, boxes. And then these down here have got these little white triangles in the corner. So if we double click on this, you'll see the difference. So this one says process color and global. And if we double click on this one, it says process color and it doesn't say global. So what that means is that it's a process color, which means that it's um, a color made up of the, the three different values or the four different values in CMYK, but it's not set to um, a global setting. And what a global setting means is that it will change everything that's that color when you change that color. So if I was to do something red, I go into that red now and I change that red. Can you see it's not changing? It's not changing at all. Whereas if I choose this blue and I go to the blue, which is, I'll just make sure it's added. It's there a lot go to blue, this is global, and now when I change this, you'll see that it's changing the color in my document. So global refers to colors throughout the document. So if you change that color, 
it will change everything on your artboard or within your document that is that color. The third thing in color is whether it's spot or process. So if I double click on this one, you'll see it says spot color. So you've got the option of process color and spot color. Now, the only real difference is, is, the, is the production process at the end. And you, most of the time, you're never going to see this. But spot color is when you want to print a specific color that's not within CMYK. So you can have this pink, which is very, very bright and colorful and vibrant as a spot color. So you would print CMYK and you would print the pink as a special color. And those come with special inks. Um, so that's what a spot color is. And then when it goes through the, the rip to actually print off the artwork, um, that will come out as a separate plate. So you'll have the CMYK plates and then you'll have a special plate which will be whatever color is set spot. So if that's that pink, and we just turn it on, we can choose it to spot color. And that's now spot. And you can see there's like a little dot in the corner of that little triangle. Very, very difficult to see, but you'll, I'll zoom in. Okay, so that's color.